Hey, it's Josh Hewitt, Top Form Fitness. It's time to do it with Hewitt once again. I'm on my way to a place called Float Tank, and this is uh, where they have the sensory deprivation chambers. So this is where you uh, basically are submerged in um, magnesium salt water. I guess they have like hundreds of pounds of magnesium salt dissolved in the water. Uh, so you basically, you're uh, very buoyant. Also, the water is kept at very close to your body temperature. So uh, you start to lose sense of your surroundings in there. So the, uh, the basically where your body ends and the water begins becomes very blurred. Um, and with uh, it's completely blacked out. You can't see anything. Uh, there's no sound. It's completely soundproof. Uh, so in this state where you're completely supported, you can't feel anything, hear anything, see anything. Uh, it's it's a great form of relaxation, complete and total physical and mental relaxation. So I've been looking forward to checking this out. Uh, lately, I've been looking for uh, some ways to increase awareness, uh, get some new ideas, sort of hit the reset button as far as uh, personal development goes. Started practicing meditation, although that takes some discipline and a lot of respect for it. This is sort of meant to be like a cheat, get you back into those uh, theta brainwave state, which is very close to where it gets to uh, during meditation. Uh, and it should help you uh, open up your mind to new ideas. Uh, it should help your body recover and recuperate from exercise very quickly, reduces stress. Um, relaxes your muscles, uh, improves joint health. There's so many health benefits to it. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, sort of having a very positive experience from this. I'll, uh, I'll check in when we get there and we'll see if I can bring the camera in with me. All right, we're here. We arrived at uh, Float Tank Berry. I'm gonna step inside to see if I can give you a shot of, of the room. And uh, obviously I'm not bringing this in with me to the, uh, the sleep tank but um, I'll touch base with you after and let you know what the experience was like. All right, let's go in. So uh, welcome to Float Tank Ferry. Uh, so we have a little yoga studio space here. Um, this is available to anyone that is floating before a float or even after a float. So if you want to do any stretching or exercise beforehand, kind of help fully optimize your experience. And uh, that's available to anyone that's floating. And we're also working on getting some yoga classes scheduled hopefully soon. Cool. Uh, right behind you, this is a nice visual. This is how much salt goes into each float tank. So it's about 850 pounds. It's uh, 16 bags. It's, uh, so that makes each float tank twice as buoyant as the Dead Sea. So you can float effortlessly. Nice. Yeah. And we got some books on floating. So if you're interested at all in any science or research, any more details into the benefits and things like that. Uh, those are some really good books that go further into that. Right on. We've got a little tea lounge area for afterwards so people are free to have a cup of tea and uh, they don't have to rush out the door if they're feeling nice and relaxed. They don't have to get right back to driving. You can just kind of hang out and ease your way out the door. And then with that we also got some of these expression books. So some people like to write down any ideas they come up with while floating or make a little doodle or leave a little note, something like that. So people can do that as well. Uh, got our washroom right up front. Recommend you use the washroom before your float, but mm -hmm. uh, you can do that after our tour. Mm -hmm. sure you there. Yeah, so this is the float tank. It uh, opens just like this. It's about eight feet by four feet on the inside. I got a flashlight, you can see a little better in there. Okay, cool. So there's about 10 inches of water, all that salt gets dissolved inside. And uh, yeah, so we ask each person to have a shower beforehand. Mm -hmm. So there's a pre float soap, it's an unscented body wash and shampoo. So that gets any lotions or deodorants off your skin before you hop in. Uh, open the door just like that. You'll touch the bottom when you first step in. You can get down on your knees or your bum. And then when you lay down, it will pick you right up. You can get to float effortlessly. And you awesome. close from the inside, right? Yeah, and you close the door from the inside, there's a handle here on the inside. Nice. So you just close the door whenever you're comfortable. It's not at all mandatory to shut the door. Right. It's just recommended to get that full effect. Okay, so I'm ready to do this. So the session will be about an hour, um, and they'll wake you up with some light relaxing music that will slowly fade in. And then afterwards, you just shower, you're completely naked in this thing. So there's nothing to distract you. There will be like no sensations except for your own breathing that you'll be hearing in your head. 
So I'm looking forward to this and I'll catch you right after the session. I just got out of float tank. Uh, it was a very interesting experience, uh, completely new to me, of course, and very relaxing. Um, I was surprised that I didn't fall asleep. I was sure that, uh, given the environment and how I'm a little bit uh, behind on sleep lately, I would pass out right away, but uh, it wasn't the case. And I was a little distracted for the first little bit with trying to think about how the ex experience should be. Um, you know, I should be more relaxed or where my arm should be and uh, uh, focusing on my breathing or should I just try not to focus on anything. But once I was able to let go of that uh, mental stuff and not what, I, you know, ex not what I was expecting to get out of it and just let myself empty my mind, so to speak, it was, um, it was great. There were a couple moments where I felt like I was completely drifting away and I was floating or my body was just sort of turning. Um, Imagine what you know what it might feel like floating in space, kind of thing, completely like uh, uh, weightless, uh, zero gravity kind of environment. Um, but then there were other times where I was not able to shut my brain off and was uh, thinking through like all the things I have to do today, etc. But uh, physically, definitely relaxing. Muscles feel way better. I feel very relaxed. I feel like I want to go sleep now, actually. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely be back. I think it'll be a different experience the second time as well because I won't uh, be overthinking it. I'll know what to expect. And um, yeah, the only thing that was sort of physically distracting is if, if you move your arm or something in there, you're so buoyant that if you move one limb, your body will sort of drift over the other way. So, uh, and you'll lightly touch the sides of the, of the container. So just as I'm sort of drifting into this like uh, altered state, you know, your hand would lightly touch the side or something and that would kind of, you know, bring you back to alertness again. Um, but uh, once I got myself completely still and centered, it was awesome. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, I definitely suggest you uh, look into the um, sensory deprivation uh, chambers and uh, see what you think yourself. Uh, until next time, stay strong.